In this video, we will show you how to file a Schedule A using the Upload feature. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. Schedule A is for the allocation of district taxes. The schedule below populates the districts for your registered California locations as well as any districts you have added from the previous reporting period that were not subject to any rate changes. In this example, we will complete the Schedule A using the Upload feature. To begin, click CDTFA website. It is important to select the correct Excel workbook for the period you are filing to ensure accuracy of the tax rates. For Historical Schedule A workbooks, select Historical Schedule A Excel workbooks to locate your filing period. Do not use a previously saved workbook. Once your workbook is downloaded, begin by entering the taxable amount to be reported here on the Sales and Purchases Data tab. Your taxable amount to report can be located on your return. You will then place the taxable amount on the correct county or city line. You can filter the Excel workbook to match your records. In our example, we made sales in the city of Elk Grove. Elk Grove is in Sacramento County, so we can filter the county column to only display the cities in Sacramento County. Click the Filter button to display the filter menu. Click Select All to remove all the counties from the filter. Select Sacramento County and click OK. The Excel workbook has now been filtered to only show the cities in Sacramento County. Since Elk Grove is not listed, we will place the taxable amount on the Sacramento County line. You can also copy and paste sales data from your records into the taxable amount column. Furthermore, if you made sales in a county that is not listed, then there is no district tax and you will report the sales on the line that says enter all transactions subject to only the state rate of 7.25%. Your entries will auto-populate on the Schedule A tab. The $25,000 for Sacramento County can be found on row 168 of the Schedule A tab for verification purposes. Once the amount remaining to be reported reaches zero, you can then save the Excel workbook. Select the Schedule A tab to verify your entries are correct. If you need to make a change, go back to the Sales and Purchases Data tab to make the change. For more detailed instructions on how to use the workbook, please click on the Instructions tab below. After you save the workbook, you will then go back to the Return Online. You will select Upload on the Schedule A. Select the correct workbook. Click Upload to populate your information into the schedule. Once uploaded, the amount remaining to be reported should reflect zero. Please review the uploaded information to ensure accuracy. Once finished, click Next. If you have additional questions regarding the Schedule A, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711.